Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Terraria. Today we're going to be doing a crazy amount of things. We're going to be finishing up the rest of our relics, which includes like Betsy and the Moon Lord. We're going to be seeing a bunch of new items that I've collected. And really importantly, we're going to be building the strongest weapon in the game currently. So yeah, today's going to be crazy. We're going to do so much. Let's get started right away. What are we missing as far as relics? As far as pre-hard mode, we got everything. As far as hard mode, we're missing the cultist special item. We've got his relic. And then the moon lord relic and special item, we're still missing. As far as events go, last episode, we did the old one's army. We did the pumpkin moon. And we did the frost moon. So today, we're going to be doing the pirate invasion, Martian madness, as well as from the old one's army, we still need Betsy. Let's start super quickly with the pirate invasion. Yep, so let's go ahead and get the Dutchman right now. And I keep seeming to forget that I need to be in my master world for me to get the drops. Let's do this again. Alright, so the pirates have been defeated. Let's go ahead and put on this mount. Let's see what it looks like. It's flying. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it's basically just like the one, like the Martian saucer. It's unlimited flight. And it's kind of fast. I wonder, is this better than the UFO? I don't think so. It, it shouldn't be, right? Cause that is, I I'll, I have to check the speeds on it. So, okay, let's see. Let's start. Let's start like this. So, going up. What's the mouse power? So, sixty maximum going up. Then what about going like this? How fast can we go? Just straight. So it looks like it tops out at eighty-two miles per hour. But let's make sure to take a look at its acceleration, right? So let's open it and let's see how fast we accelerate. So this is something I can't really quantify unless I do like an equation, but just notice how fast we go, all right? Now let's go ahead and put the cosmic key on. So now let's notice the difference, right? Let me clear these things so we can... Okay, so we spawn it. How fast do we go up? So we go 40 miles per hour up. How fast do we go sideways? We go 40 miles per hour sideways too. So the Dutchman is faster going sideways, but I think it's, I think the acceleration for the UFO is higher. So since we know the maximum is 40, let's see how fast we can go zero to 40. One, two, in about two seconds, right? Let's see the black spot. How fast does it go from zero to 40? One, two, three. Okay, so the UFO has faster acceleration, but the Dutchman is faster overall. There's another item that I got from the pirate event, which is the Dutchman. This is a mine cart. Now, I'm not going to bother finding a cart, but that's cool. They added a bunch of carts into the game, which, you know, hey, more stuff, the better. All right, so the pirate invasion wasn't really that bad, but now let's do something a little bit harder. and Let's go ahead and try to get Betsy. So with Betsy, I originally tried to like set up a bunch of traps and everything. I don't know if I have any footage of that because I might have deleted it because obviously I didn't, it didn't work out. But what I ended up doing is going back to the good old classic, removing all the traps because it was interfering with me picking up the Ethery, um, mana crystal, whatever, um, and like stuff like that. So I removed it. We just have a heart statue and a timer, honey, uh, heart lanterns and fire, fireplaces and we're good. So let's go ahead and give it a try.
All right, so there's those two bosses real quickly. Let's take a look at Betsy's relic and special item. And then we'll take a look at some of the other new items that I've kind of gathered. We got the Betsy relic and Betsy's egg, which is its special item. Let's go ahead and go over here. And this is the place for Betsy. Obviously, I have the uh, the mage and then the ogre. And Betsy goes right there. That's a pretty cool relic. Not bad. Betsy's egg summons Itsy Betsy. Okay, it literally just looks like a fat, small Betsy. Honestly, I don't know about that one, man. Betsy looks really, really cool. Making it look stupid is kind of insulting. But hey, okay, cool. That's that's its special item right there. Not, not honestly, not a fan. Look at Prime Skeletron here, dude. Look at that. It looks sick. Betsy not sick but anyway let's take a look at some other new items and then we're gonna do kind of like an overall of what we've done so far all right so let's start taking a look at some of the new items and i'm gonna be picking out the best ones first so let's take a look at shark bait uh the baby grinch's uh mischief whistle um we have a couple of whips which are really cool um the void bag and void vault um Real quick, I guess I could just show you guys, these are two new minecarts, the shroom minecart and the desert minecart. I'm not going to hop in them because I don't feel like going to a cart. Those are cool. We've got a new weapon, the storm spear. We've got the bass statue, which is such a crazy good item. I'm really excited about this one, especially. Um, cumbering stone, scarab bombs, ancient chisel, and step stools. So let's take a look at them. Alright, so let's take a look at the shark bait first, and it's caption is do 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 so you guys know what that's referencing the obviously the shark song and that's a pretty cool summon not like cool like oh wow that looks sick but it's just kind of it's funny it's pretty funny so yeah i definitely like it i'm not gonna keep it on but i definitely like it this one i actually do like the baby grinch's mischief whistle i do like this one i did take a look at this one before him it's literally just a little baby Grinch, and I, I don't know why I like it. It's not particularly special, but I just think it's hilarious. So, yeah, I definitely, and I think it's dropped from the Krampus, but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure I kind of just picked it up. Um, let's go ahead and put the Minotaur back on. All right, so let's take a look at some whips, the Dark Harvest, and I, what was this dropped from? I think this is dropped from the Pumpkins, and it's just like, yeah, I mean, I haven't take a, taken a look at too many of, as far as like whips go. But it's pretty cool. So that's the heavy dark harvest, 125 damage. And then we've got the firecracker, which is dropped from uh, the wall of flesh, and just a little bit shorter. But of course, it's obviously worse because it's um, in the past. You know, Pump King has fought after uh, wall of flesh. And there's the two whips. Pretty pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the storm spear, which is a very early game weapon that you find in I think gold chests. Um, but yeah, this is just a weapon for early on in the game when you still don't really have a lot of mobility, not a lot of range. And it's pretty cool, especially for early game. This is one of the coolest early game uh, weapons. All right, let's take a look at the bass statue. So we got to read this description. That's why it's important. Increased defense by five when placed nearby. And you find these, is it um, in hollow chests and hollow crates, like fishing crates? But yeah, if you place it down, it... So right now we have 66 if we destroy this we have 61 so it literally just oh i have the encumbering stone on i can't pick it up that's another item which we're gonna look at in a second here uh <laughs> okay well i guess we picked it up but yeah so it just increases your thing by five and it's got a pretty long range too so like right now we're here do we still get it all the way up here we still get it all the way up here like this thing has really 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 good range that is definitely an item you're always going to want for boss fights that are stationary. Like, if you're tanking a boss fight, a bass statue, you can't do it without a bass statue. You're dumb if you don't. So, pretty, pretty cool. Let's take a look at some other items. We've got the Encumbering Stone, which is, again, the reason why I couldn't pick it up in the first place is because it prevents item pickups. Now, this is, like, pretty, like, let's say useless item, but it's just, it's a really situational, very cool item. Let's just say you want to go down into the Golem, but you don't want to pick up items along the way there because you want to save your inventory space for the golem drops. You just put this bad boy right on and you just go, you know? So it's a pretty, it's a, it's something that I do, I wouldn't have thought of to add, but it's pretty cool. Uh, the scarab bomb. So this is just um, in the underground desert. You can get these or make them. It's just, have you, if you guys ever played like bomber, uh, where like the bombs just kind of like go straight and sideways and stuff, it's literally just like that, where it just blows up in the direction you're facing and it just blows up in a straight line pretty pretty cool we've got the ancient chisel 
in my opinion, by far the best early game um, accessory. It increases mining speed by 25%. That's crazy. You have like a gold pickaxe. All of a sudden, you can like mine up to like a platinum or something. You know, that's that's crazy. The step stool hold up to reach higher. I've actually never used this. What does this do? Oh, okay. Well, let me equip it first. What does this mean? Oh. You literally just reach higher if you want to like reach a chest <laughs> okay didn't expect that i guess i should have expected it when it just said hold up to reach higher and it's a step stool but cool all right and now we have two more items that we should check out with the void bag and the void vault if carried it may pick up items when your inventory is full and stored items can be accessed by you will contain items picked up by the void bag so Long story short, this is basically just extra storage. If your inventory is full and you're holding this bag, what it'll do is it will go into this bag. And then the void vault is where you can go to pick up anything that was put into that bag. So those are some of the new items that I found. And like I said, a couple of them really cool, like the bass statue and like the Grinch. Some of them not so cool. All right, real quick, let's do a recap of everything we've done so far, and then we'll create the big weapon that I was talking about, and then we'll go ahead and finish off the rest of the relics. So just for a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, Queen Slime Relic, just cause I'm gonna need it up here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start. In this one, I have all the events. In this one, I have all of like just the main series bosses. So we'll start with the events first. We got the Ogre with the Ogre Club, Dark Mage with the Dark Mage Tome, Betsy with the Betsy's Egg, Everscream, Shrubstar, Santa, Toy Tank, Ice Queen, Frozen, Crown, Pump King, Scented Candle, Morningwood, Hexed Branch, Flying Dutchman has the Black Spot, which I put in here, but I'm actually going to be taking with me afterwards because it's a really fast mount. And then as far as like pre-hard pre mode and hard mode weapons over here, we've got all of the... Um, uh, up until here, all the pre-hard modes, so like King Slime, Royal of the Light, I Cthulhu, Suspicious Grinning Eye, Eater of Worlds, Rithering Remains, Brain, Brain in a Jar, Queen, Sparkling Honey, Skeletron, Possessed Skull, Wall of Flesh, Goat Skull, Wall of... Oh, and then now we're getting to the hard mode, so we got the Twins, Destroyer, and Skeletron Prime with a pair of eyes, Deactivate the Probe, Robotic Skull, and then we've got the first hard mode boss, the Queen Slime, with the Gelatinous... Uh, I can't even say that word. Then we have Plantera, with Plantera Seedling, We've got the golem with the guardian golem and then we got duke fishron with the pork of the sea so in this spot here we're missing the new boss which we're going to try and fight today and then obviously we have the cultist and then the moon lord and that's all we're missing and then in here obviously the martian saucer all right now i've been hyping up this strongest weapon in the game let's go ahead and finally build it so it is the zenith sword it does a crazy amount of damage here we could see these are all the ingredients needed to make it and i'll kind of go through it um but along with that it's uh, obviously a melee weapon and i'm a mage so i went ahead and made myself a new pair of solar armor here because we're actually going to be using this against the moon lord because it's the easiest way to defeat him with the strongest weapon in the game so i made myself some solar flare armor here and um i also got myself a bunch of accessories to make myself into a melee user so the mechanical glove avenger emblem destroyer emblem and the warrior emblem but let's go through how to make the zenith so you need a copper sword an enchanted sword which you find underground kind of stuck into the ground a beekeeper um i think this is from the queen bee you got the star fury which is found in um uh, sky islands chests uh, the Seedler, which is from Plantera, Horseman's Blade, which is from the uh, King, Pump King. We've got the Influx Waver, the Star Wrath, the Meow Mirror, which is from the Moon Lord, and then you need a true Knight's Edge and a true Excalibur. Now, making the Knight's Edge and the Excalibur is even more, like, there's even more swords that go into these. I'm not going to explain those. You can wiki those. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab each of these items. And we'll do it. And technically, I lied. You need the true, the true edge and the Excalibur. But actually, these two you put together to make the Terra Blade, and then the Terra Blade you put into the Zenith. All right. So yeah, because see here the Terra Blade right here. Okay. And I, fun fact, I've never made the Terra Blade, so this is new. And I've actually never played with it. So, how much damage? 119. Okay. It's interesting. Okay. Anyway, now that we made the Terra Blade, we can make the Zenith. Okay, everybody, if we step to the anvil here, we can see the Zenith. All right, we make that, bam, 239 melee damage. So let's go ahead and take a look at that weapon without any upgrades, without anything. 
that is such a sick sword. It kind of just goes wherever you point your thing. That is really, really cool. You can kind of see like all the little swords packed inside of it. All right, everybody. And we do have one other thing to make specifically for my mage class, which we're not going to be even using right now. But if we take these items, we can make another item that we will be using as far as the mage goes. So out of the star power and the banner regeneration, we make this. Okay, so combining that band with a shackle makes magic cuffs. And with these magic cuffs and the celestial magnet, you make the celestial cuffs. And this is another accessory as a mage you're gonna want. Now, real quick, I actually did find another Titan glove. So basically all I need is just a magma stone. And I think I'm gonna go and find that. Cause if I can have uh, the fire gauntlet, I'm gonna try. So just give me one moment. Oh yes, I finally got the magma stone. Oh, that took. Oh man, longer than I really should. All right, I'm still recording. Okay, let's go grab. I think it, is it the feral claws? Is that what I'm what I'm thinking right now? Okay, feral claws. Let's go ahead. Oh, and we need an Avengers emblem. Do we have an extra? I'm pretty sure we do. Right there, an Avenger emblem. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm doing this completely on the spot. All right, power glove, bam. Mechanical glove, bam. Magma, bam. Dude, I'm sick. Okay, let's go ahead and get a good enchantment on this boy. So we want menacing, because we want all, all, there it is, and I missed it. Oh, I hate doing this. So there we go, so we can have as much damage as possible. Okay, everybody, so let's go ahead and suit up in our new build. Mage is always gonna be my baby, but just for a little bit, we're gonna suit up a new, a new build. All right, so I'm just gonna put this chest here. So this is everything from my mage build. All right, so we're here and I've still actually got to put these things on. I do have my solar armor on. So we got to kind of pick. So I think I decided I'm not gonna need the wings because I'll have the mount. And I think I'm gonna get rid of the worm scarf just so I can get more damage here. Um, and actually I need to, let's put, go ahead and put this on. There we go, so we can go fast. So we're gonna have the warrior emblem. We're gonna have the destroyer emblem. We're gonna have the Avengers emblem, the mechanical glove, fire gauntlet. Am I missing something? No, I guess then we'll go ahead and put the worm scarf in here just for extra defense because we're not gonna need it. We're not gonna need the wings because we have this. We have the celestial sigils. We have all of our potions. The zenith does 429 damage. This thing is absolutely nuts. All right, let's go ahead and try to get that special Moon Lord item. And I totally forgot to use the sigil. I need to not have pillars on the world. So I guess let's go defeat all the pillars and it'll get summoned anyway. And to die. Oh, I'm dead. Good, not good, not good, not good. No, I'm so close. I think we got it. Oh, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Woo. All right, first, first Moon Lord in master mode. There we go. Bam. And we did not get his special item though. We did get the Moon Lord relic though, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna get that special item. All right, there we go, second Moon Lord. Whew, we got close that time, less than 100 health. Let's hope maybe we get the item this time. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's do it again. All right, there we go, third kill, third kill. 25% chance for the good drop. So let's see, do we hit that 25 this time? Nope, doesn't look like it. We go again. All right, there goes another Moon Lord. And I didn't take that much damage that time. Maybe I'm getting better at this. Let's see, are we gonna hit that 25%? Give me that 20, give me that 20. Did I get it? 
Yes, piece of the moon, squid. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm happy. All right, let's go back to our normal world and see what it is. All right, piece of the moon, squid. Now, obviously, Moon Lord is the final enemy, so I'm really hoping this is kind of cool. And that is kind of cool. It's literally just his head. Yeah, that's actually not that bad. I do like that. That's not. It's not bad at all. Finally, now we just use a new sword to get rid of everything. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'll take All it. All right, so we got a few relics. Let's go ahead and place down the Moon Lord relic. And I think as far as relics, I think we have all of them except the Martian one, which we're going to get right now. But anyway, there's his relic. It's a pretty cool one. And let's go ahead and put his item next to um, his thing. So we've got the Moon Lord here. So we're going to have Duke, the Cultist, and then the Moon Lord here. And this is a special item. Okay, so all we're missing now is just a cultist special item and then Martian saucer and I think we're done Oh, and very importantly almost forgot the new boss So since we defeated all the pillars, let's go ahead and give the cultist one more try as far as try goes Obviously, we're gonna kill it. It's more of like a chance at the special item and of course using our new mount We go so much faster go ahead and give the cultist another try here And we're gonna kill him very 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 quickly here yeah, oh, I was like, I was like, will he be dead by the time he even, like, comes up here? And there he goes. Do I get a special item? No. Did I end my phone? Just went off. Good timing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give the cultist another try. I'm really hoping we can get it this time because every single time I don't get it, I have to go through all of the pillars again, which is a little bit annoying. So let's hope we get it right here. Doesn't look like it. Mm, man, time for the pillars again. All right, guys, we found the Martian probe. Oh, we finally found him. I've been running around for a while. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let him spot me. Gotta make sure we don't kill him here. All right, the Martians are invading. Let's go ahead and kill this Wyvern. Let's go back to spawn here. Okay, let's start doing this. After 50%, uh, the Martian or the mothership start spawning. We just gotta get to 50%. All right, the Martians have been defeated, and I think the item we're looking for is this one right here. All right, so before we check it out, I did defeat all the pillars, so I could get the Martian probe, and that means the cultist is back, so let's go ahead and try the cultist one more time. I have to kill all four pillars just to give him a try. So, I'm hoping we can just get him done here. Yes, we got it! Oh, I'm literally, you don't know how happy I am. Oh, we got it. Oh, I'm so sick. Okay, let me make sure. Am I recording? Yes, Take I'm a look recording. at everything. So, we got the Cosmic Skateboard, which is from the Marsh, Martian Saucer. Summons an alien skater. That's actually kind of cool. Let me see. Does he fly up in the air? Let me get outside. Does he fly? He does. Okay, that's actually, that's pretty cool, actually. Cosmic skateboard, okay. Now let's take a look at the tablet fragment. And I think this has to be one of the coolest ones, right? Like it's, if I, if I get one of these, I technically have two, one doesn't attack. That's definitely pretty cool. All right, anyway. So those are the two items. I'm going to go ahead and put my mini minotaur back up in here. All right, everybody. I just did another slime queen fight just because, and I just realized I got the right regal delicacy. I didn't have the right item here. Over here, I had the, the, the slime mount. I don't think that's it. I think it's this. So I was actually wrong. We have this little one right here. This is actually the real master mode item, which I probably should have seen because it literally just says like master. This one doesn't. So yeah. This is actually its item, which is kind of cool, buddy. So we have gotten every single boss relic and every single item except that one last new boss, which we're going to start off next episode right away. Uh, but once again, I'll show you guys here. So these are all of the item, all the relics with all of the items except the one new boss. 
and then we've got all of the events items right here. I'm gonna end this episode off here. We've gotten every single one except for that new boss, which once again, I'm gonna do next episode right away. So hopefully guys uh, will stick around for that. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment, add support to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and...